As you walk around the museum, one of the most interesting objects that we have is Dickens's reading desk. It might not look much at first, but that iconic red desk was the one that Dickens took with him on his public readings all over Britain and Ireland and to the United States as well. It was a desk that he designed himself, and it was designed so as to show off his figure, this amazing figure who was an actor, an amateur actor who enjoyed performing for the public, also wanted to perform for his audience when he was reading from his works. Dickens constructed special reading versions. They weren't the full versions that you would see in his novels, but they were cut down so as to emphasize character, to emphasize the aspects of speech that people recognize from reading the novels. And people loved his performances. He had amazing gestures. He loved to engage with the audience in such a way as to make them laugh and to make them cry. He also used as a prop a letter opener, which he had as a paper knife that, that we still have in the museum, and the Dickens used in order to convey gestures. Dickens set himself up behind this reading desk the reading desk was about waist height, and it had on it a slightly lower shelf where he would keep a carafe and water. It also had a slightly raised platform on which he would place his elbow in order to supposedly read from the text. And I say supposedly because Dickens did these readings over and over again, and he knew these readings so well. But people expected that book in his hand because that's what they associated with him. He was the man who authored these works, and he wanted to demonstrate to people, here I am reading to you from these works that you know so well. And people were amazed at the presence of Dickens, at his stamina. It would take him two to three hours to do a program with an intermission. And because of the stage that he had set up for himself with the desk, with the sounding board behind him, with the gas lights in front of him on a raised pedestal, it was, it was almost magical. It was, it was as if a god or as if an angel was speaking to him and engaging with the audience in a way that they had never quite seen. He was an absolute showman and he enjoyed this experience, I think, in some ways more than he did writing his novels because he got that immediate reaction from people. As you can imagine, writing a long novel of eight or 900 pages took a year and a half approximately and this was something that Dickens did in a private way. He had to have quiet. He had to have concentration. But when he went out to the public in order to read from these works that they had known, it was a whole different experience for him.